Welcome to the Once in a Lifetime series. In this one, we're going to visit Pennsylvania. You're going to see Gettysburg, downtown, the museum, Eisenhower residence. Then we head on uh, west. We're going to stop at Flight 93 Memorial. So sit back and enjoy the ride. And the journey starts right now. We are entering into downtown Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Yay! And it's raining. <laughs> On and off. I think this rain's going to follow me all spring into summer. That's okay. We'll get through it. But check this out. You talk about history. Oh my goodness, this place is just full of it. And we're going to go do some exploring today. Rain or shine. Look at these old buildings, and some of these have been around since the Civil War, 1800s, probably even earlier. Pennsylvania and all these uh, northeastern states, my goodness. It's endless. You read online all this stuff, too. This is uh, actually U.S. Highway 30. We're heading west. We're going to stick around uh, town here a little bit. We'll end up down at the National uh, Battlefield Park, whatever they call it. This entire town's a national monument. These old buildings. There's a statue of Lincoln we'll find. So let's check it out. I really don't know where I'm going. I, town ain't that big. I kind of Google mapped all this out. Got the phone on. That National Visitor Center is south of here. I thought we'd do downtown first. Then head down there. Look at the brick. Brick everything. Still got the pillars on that building. Let's see. Let's do this. We'll drive through town and I'll find a place to park and we'll walk around. Got to check it out from the street too. A lot of haunted ghost tours here. I guess there's ghosts everywhere. Some of these old buildings. Oh wow, look at this roundabout here. Okay, now that building here on the left. Oh, I just spotted Lincoln's statue. Okay, we'll catch that on when I park. Oh, they're planting flowers. Look at that. Old bank building right there. Think of the amount of people it's been through here. They claim millions come through here every year. Tourism. Just a vast history. This is definitely small town and old town. USA. And actually back roads too. US 30. Cool. Alright. Well, that looks like pretty much downtown. I'll find a place to turn around here, then we'll go back and park. Temperatures in the 50s. Huge chance of rain, not only today, but several days in a row here. So do the best we can. Aha, I see a place. I'm going to. Let me get flipped around. We'll go back to the downtown area. Go back down to that circle square. And I'll walk around a little bit. A 
A lot of people live here. All over Pennsylvania. Well, you got Philadelphia that's not too far away. And just to the south is actually Washington, D.C., Baltimore. Big cities. Actually, New York City wouldn't even be that far. A couple hundred miles, maybe. Okay, here's Town Square. Just low after 8 o'clock in the morning. They got city buses. Okay, see this building straight in front of us? Right in front there is where that Lincoln statue is. We gotta go say hi to Abe. There's a Gettysburg Hotel. Look at that old timer. Well, this looks like good as any. I'll park here. Still early. Look at all the parking available. Pays to get out early sometimes. I bet in an hour or so this will be packed. All right, let's go cruise around. Been a long time since I put money in a parking meter. <laughs> 10 minutes for 25 cents. Looks like beauty salon. Look at the chairs out. Wow. This feels old here. Trees growing right in the sidewalk. Pretty cool. Tables you can actually sit out. Look at that, outside vending machines. Sell food right on the street. Ice cream, oh boy. Nothing's open yet too early. Okay, here's this building. It's not open. It's got to be some. Oh, look at that. It's got a national sign, national park sign. Check this out. I see Abe. Wow. That one's been restored. Look how clean the brick is. Will's house. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, he stayed there during the Gettysburg Address. Okay. Let's say hi to Abe. Pretty darn lifelike. <laughs> Holding his hat out, yeah. Boy, if he was alive today and see all the changes, he would really uh, do a double take, wouldn't he? <laughs> Just history upon history. It looks like a lot of restaurants, shops. Yeah, I want to get down here. The rains are supposed to hit here in about an hour. Good morning, sir. How are you? Oh. Blue gray grill, bar and grill. Let's wander back over by that Gettysburg Hotel. Probably volunteers plant flowers. Big summertime events. I imagine 4th of July here is just spectacular. Look how busy this roundabout is. It, cars are just endless. Past Abe again. Metal benches down here. Oh, yeah. See what this sign says. 
Will's house, slept the night, Abraham Lincoln. November 18, 1863, the night before the Gettysburg Address. Abe was there, so that's what, 160 years ago, somewhere around there. All right, well, let's go across, check out the hotel. There's the old hotel, Gettysburg Hotel. That's what, one of them is supposed to be really haunted, according to those ghost tours. Old courthouse, Adams County, 1804, 1859. Huh. Pretty cool. That building don't look as old, but it might be. I feel a couple raindrops already hit me. Well, let's do this. Go back, get the van. Maybe we'll head down to that National Visitor Center. Anyway, this is downtown Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. See what else we can find here. Boy, about get run over here if you're not careful. <laughs> There's no light. Cars coming in every direction. So if you're down here, check out the Will's house. Pretty cool. Get you an ice cream. Morning. Why are you a video up? The whole thing. Have a good day. <clears throat> now, those two deputy sheriffs has pointed something out to me. Let me find it. Right there underneath that window, right there, there's a cannonball that did not explode during the Civil War. See that round dot underneath that window? That's an old cannonball <laughs> from the Civil War days. It did not explode right on the ice cream store check it out now that's something and that one deputy says yeah no one knows about it people come down here by the millions and no one knows about that cannonball <laughs> you do now well that was cool local knowledge pretty cool all right Get the van out of Hawk before I, uh, there they go. There goes the shares. Before my parking meter runs out. Yeah, I can't remember last time. Uh, look at this building. Old wood door. Look at that old time door with the glass in it. Rounded glass above it. I don't remember last time I had to put money in a parking meter. That van really doesn't even fit in uh, one space either. <laughs> yeah, I got a discount. All right, let's go find that uh, visitor center. Well, that's cool about that cannonball. Right there on the left, that building, that ice cream finest ice cream right above that sign if you're down here look for that cannonball and stuck in the con or in the brick <laughs> all right do the roundabout looks like we got about three miles we're gonna drop down south of town busy busy intersection here Boy, they got a lot of people planting flowers. Cool. All right, should be this street here. Here we go.
My friends live in a town called Hanover, about 15 miles from here. So it's pretty close to where I'm visiting Gettysburg is. This more old style brick. Big old church. Cool. Starting to get out of town. Yeah, these battlefields. Uh, they're supposed to be a self-guided auto tour you can take it. They're all marked. So we're going to take that. If it doesn't rain. <laughs> we'll have to wait on the weather. Yeah, it looks a lot more modern out this way. Ooh, look off left. That's part of those battlefields. All the monuments. We'll be seeing a bunch of that on the when we do the auto tour. All right, according to the phone here, we should be almost up. We got to turn off, be in the visitor center. Here it is, almost missed it. Gettysburg National Military Park. This is all National Park. They got a museum here. We'll go check that out. Whatever else we can find. Well, light mist on the windshield. Okay, here's their museum building. Should be opening up here in about 30 minutes. I'll find a place to park. And we'll come back up. This is the main entrance to their museum. Cool. And now it's starting to rain a little bit. Gettysburg National Military Park Museum and Visitor Center. Here we are. Should be interesting. There's a big map. There's that auto tour that we'll take. Another sign, National Park Service runs everything. Cool looking building. All right, let's go on in, check it out. Okay, I gotta get a ticket. They got movies, you can either just see the museum but I can't film any of the movies or anything like that, so I'm just going to get a general mission ticket. Ten bucks for general mission. Wow, look at all the old guns. Massive uh, history battles that went on here, the battlefields, north and the south. All right, well, I only paid for general mission. Over there, that's where they had the movies. But we can't film that. It'd be a copyright thing, so boy, it's dark. Look how dark. Let's go on in. Mm -hmm. 
it is so dark in here I'm gonna show what I can a little bit I'll get some glimpses of what's in here tons of pictures a lot of storyboards about Lincoln different battlefields Oh, look at the cannon. Look at this thing. Wow. That one is mint condition. But you just kind of walk through. I'm sorry it's so dark. The camera's not doing good at all. Some couple sections back there I couldn't even see <laughs> at all just with trying to look. They got this place really dark. Different flags, codes, flares, more guns, pictures, old pictures of the battlefields. Yeah, look at them old trees. Wow. Cool. amazing oh look at that the pictures of the building I bet those built I bet we drove past that building all the rifles uh, stacked up nice and neat uniforms okay we're about at the end of this definitely check this out sorry I couldn't film more of it it's just too darn dark you come in here bring a flashlight to read some of this stuff <laughs> I'm just teasing that's a cool picture all right this is it we're out of here I can hear the rain just hitting the roof it's pouring rain right now outside big old map of the area walk in the footsteps Eisenhower house is around here too More of the guns, the ammunition they used. Oh, look at this. Musical instruments. Cool. Big picture of the battlefield. That's, looks like Gettysburg there, huh? with the cannonball stuck in the ice cream building. Pretty good. I can just hear that rain hitting the roof right now outside. Okay, well, this is a museum for the military, National Military Park at Gettysburg. Well, head to the van. I'm going to find a place to camp tonight, and then tomorrow we'll do that uh, auto tour of all the battlefields.
Okay, here we are back in Gettysburg again. This is my third attempt to do the auto self-guided auto tour. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to drive around. It covers uh, a huge area around this town. They got marked roads. You drive around. I drove a little bit of it in the rain. <laughs> Try to see what it was a little bit. And thank goodness we got a little break in the weather, so let's go check it out and try it, huh? It actually starts on the north end of town. We're going to cut through town a little bit. Straight across, there's one of the battlefields. It's just all these different battlefields. They got monuments all over the place. On the right, there's a Gettysburg National Cemetery. And also, that there's a memorial in there where Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. We'll check that out. We'll stop there at the end of the auto tour. So I'll capture as much as I can. The best I can. So sit back, enjoy the ride. They give you a pretty good map, plus there's an app you can download on your phone. And then you play it through your radio, and it'll describe all the different monuments and where you're at and everything. So that's kind of cool. cannot use the app on here because of copyright issues so we'll just have to do it ourselves with the map <laughs> all right right up here okay here's the start of it this is where we go in this is their self-guided auto tour and it's really set up extremely well they got memorial after memorial history markers this should be a fun little trip memorial, memorial from New York all kinds of inscriptions names they give names They'll have stone placements out in the fields where people stood, that kind of thing. You can see just how flat and open these battlefields were. Here's the map. You can see it outlined in red. That's all the tours. The, they number the stops. There's downtown Gettysburg itself. So we start off in the north end. That green marker there where it says Vis Visitor Center. That's where we started. So, all right, let's do it. through this light here. You kind of zigzag across the highways. And each one of these memorials, it, it's... I think they keep adding to them all the time. I'm not a Civil War buff or history buff like some people. 
They have reenactments here. You can actually get a guided tour. You see a lot of vans out here and buses. Seems kind of cool. It's got the rifles up top. There's a big one, my goodness. Huge. See how they have parking places along the way? You can just park and stop. And all the little posts, they're numbered, it's, they got arrows directing you, which way the auto tour goes. Cool one of the horse and the soldier. Then this one up here is a big memorial. They had a dedication ceremony. We'll stop, check this out. This is a dedication ceremony they had for the battlefields, I guess, and the Civil War memorials. Walk up the steps. I guess it's lighted at the top. Well, these memorials been out here a long time. It's chilly here. This rain just doesn't let up. Get a little break of sun once in a while. Teases you. Good old East Coast weather. Man, that thing's tall. One Eternal Light Peace Memorial. Okay, that's the name of it. But it's huge. Look when they gave the dedication, that was a the view they had. It's probably just a sea of people out there when it, they dedicated this uh, memorial. That would have been cool to attend, huh? of storyboards about all the different battles that raged through here. Goodness. Oh, here you go. Look at this. Look at all the people. There was their ceremony. Looks like they had veterans from the Civil War attended. Look at that, wow. We're standing right here now. Pretty cool. shape of a tree, huh? Little viewing tower.
Pretty good parking. I mean, everyone keeps moving, so I've I've never had a problem uh, stopping anywhere. Of course, with the weather. <laughs> Yesterday, I came out here and tried doing this, and it was just pouring rain. It would stop for a minute and just pour. So I finally gave up. But it kind of gave me an idea what to expect driving through here. But all these memorials, they just have different dedications on them. All about different states. Some are from the south, some are from the north. How'd you like to live out here? There's a bed and breakfast. So this thing cuts through a little bit of the residential area of Gettysburg. Look at these old big old places, huh? Something out of a magazine, like a picture. cutting through town just a little bit you just follow the signs got to make a right with that star that represents the auto tour self-guided auto tour looks like some more old buildings oh okay look at them they were standing, I guess, back in the Civil War. Huh. Like little museums. Churches or something, maybe, huh? Look at the glasswork. Look at the windows with the arch glass above them. Wow. That one's a church. What's the old saying? Standing the test of time. Round the uh, entryway. Just a workmanship alone in the style building. Look at this one, woof. What craftsmanship. Everything rounded. These are beautiful in here. Yeah, it's got a cannon sitting out front lawn. Okay. <laughs> Pretty neat. There is a row of cannons here. The little rock wall. About a mile of them through here. It would probably pay to get one of the guided tours. I forget what they were charging. They had ones that you'd come out in a van, a small van like I got here. Like a passenger van. And they had the bigger buses. They were running out of the visitor center and museum. 
I'm sure they could really give you the full history of what happened here. I think this area here was part of the South. South front lines troops where the troops were. Mississippi Brigade. Yep, this would have been the South. Look at over here, Confederate line of battle. There you go. So I guessed right. <laughs> What's this one? North Carolina. Memorial for them. Wow, now that's impressive. Look at the detail on that, that statue. Very realistic. Wasn't that cannonball in the building downtown cool? Been there since the Civil War. Just a huge memorial with a statue. Very nice. Check this one out. Look how the terrain's changing. This is a little more hillier here. It's not big flat fields like the other ones. Throw cannons up here. There's the view they had during the Civil War. General Warren. So he stood up here and guided his troops. Huh. Okay, we're going we're about halfway through it. Getting a little mist on the windshield. But isn't this laid out well? You can just drive right through this thing. Kind of endless. And it shows you just how big the battle was. My goodness. Can you imagine? In that museum, you could, those movies would tell you a, a ton of the history amount of troops, all the amount of ammunition they used. There's no relic hunting or anything here. That's totally off limits. I'm sure they're here. Kind of little wooded area here. 
And back in the trees, you can see little tiny uh, memorials back in there too. Farmhouse. Look how square the buildings are that go up on this one. A lot of brick was used. Kind of sitting out here by itself. Another wall of names. All in mer memory of who was here. Let's see what this says over here. New Jersey. Light artillery. Second battery, wow. Army of the Potomac. July 2nd and July 3rd, they were here. This one's a Pennsylvania one. I read about this one. If it's open, we can go up top in it. We'll try it. This one's huge. Absolutely huge. Wonder how many cannons they got here on display. Look, some veterans looking at names. Pennsylvania remembers. Shows you the size of the scale of the construction project it took to put this in. The detail and architecture of these memorials are just something else. Look how tall that is. Okay, let's go find that stairwell. See if it, we can get up it. Pennsylvania, Gettysburg, at Gettysburg. Wow. History was being written back then, wasn't it? That is just plain impressive. If you ever get a chance, come out here and check out these uh, memorials. Ooh, I see a gated door. Is this it? Can we go in? Stairways. Cool. <laughs> it's a quite a little climb coming up here.
Directional arrows showing you what direction different areas are. Wow, you can really see the battlefields up here. Look at them. Huh. We're up here a little ways. Pretty good view. Can't beat this. And the rain held off. Yay! Oh my goodness. Alright, well, let's head back down towards the van. round room here what's this uh, no vandalism they must have used this for something here maybe a ceremony or something those stairs up there. Pretty steep. Yeah, if you're a Civil War buff, history buff, goodness. In uh, over the museum, they estimate two and a half to three million people visit this area every year, nonstop, even in the winter time. Summertime, it explodes. That the amount of people that visit these places, all these memorials and the auto tour and everything, it's in the millions. Well, we're getting, I think, near the end of the tour we're gonna I'll stop up here at the National Cemetery we're gonna find that memorial where Lincoln gave the Gettysburg address it's supposed to be a big memorial there for that parking lot up here. I'll find a place to park. Go across the National Cemetery. Find that Lincoln uh, Gettysburg Memorial. What a neat ride. Thank goodness it didn't rain on me again. <laughs> Check it out if you're in Gettysburg. Drive this thing. It's free. Doesn't cost anything. Just your fuel and your time. National Cemetery. This thing's old. You cannot drive in here, you can only walk. And they have guided tours for this too. Once again, check it out at the visitor center if you're interested in all the tours. 
There's the layout. I want to find that memorial. Should be close. to say silent and respect. Well, we got that mower going in the background. They're mowing lawn here. I think this is it here. Yep. 300 yards from this spot, Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address. Wow. So we're almost right there. There's troops buried right here too. History right here. This place is huge. What's this? Oh wow, real picture. There's Lincoln with the circle around him. Boy, he had to shout to, for them to hear it. Back then there was no microphones or speakers, nothing. It might be just me, but this entire town experience, you feel a presence here. It's hard to describe, but very somber presence. All oh, these are World War II. Most of the dates, date these guys age at between 20 and 30 years old from World War II, buried here. Civil War veterans buried here, unknown. John Biggs, unknown. Frederick. Brian, unknown. Look at the size of this tree, my God goodness. Big branches on it. That is huge. That was here <laughs> during the Civil War. Goodness. Pretty well marked. You can just walk around through here in this area. Some of it's closed off. But that is one big history lesson here. For more information on my travels, be sure to check out rvrtv.tv. Sign up for my free newsletter, see what's happening new on RVR TV and future travel plans. Once again, it's rvrtv.tv.
glad I came here. Quite a history lesson. I've seen a lot of stuff I never knew about. I'm not the biggest Gettysburg Civil War buff, but you always learn from this stuff. This is Hanover, Pennsylvania. We're leaving it. I had one great visit with my friends. They used to live around Quartzsite. They were vendors at Tyson Wells for years. Anyway, they're out here and guess what? It rained every day. <laughs> this morning it's not raining, but it's supposed to later. We're going to be uh, heading west. I thought we'd go up uh, to Gettysburg. We're going to actually drive back through Gettysburg. I'm going to go up here and pick up uh, US-30. And there was one site that I missed when I was up there filming. And because of the rain, <laughs> haven't been back. So it looks like this morning we can sneak in there. It's the Eisenhower Farm his old homestead. It's in the middle of all the Gettysburg uh, battlefields. I thought that'd be a cool little stop before we hit the highway and truck on west. We're heading to Ohio too. What a unique area. I mean the history is so vast. The homes are old. Everything's old. Buildings. A lot of been refurbished into businesses, remodeled, but they're all 100 to 200 years old. It's incredible. Could you imagine living in one of these and thinking, who lived here before? <laughs> My goodness, to date that far back, who would know? Absolutely incredible. All right, I'm gonna take uh, the loop around. I thought it'd be a little more scenic. Right up the road here should be Highway 30, US 30. It's all scenic here, trees and green. They don't have to water the grass here because <laughs> it rains. Also, we're in a heavily populated area. There's a lot of people here. We're close to Philadelphia, Baltimore, Washington, D.C., even uh, New York and uh, New Jersey, not that far away. All right, here we are, US 30. We'll be on this road for a while. I thought we'd cut through Gettysburg, go check out uh, Eisenhower Farm, and then go from there. Okay, right up here, there's a little town called New Oxford. Drove through here the other day with my friends. We came up here and got something to eat. Once again, just the old style brick, colonial style buildings. And they also have a little roundabout up here at the town square. Here it is here. How do we go? They all got fountains, little parks. You can just sit there and watch the traffic go by. In the rain. <laughs> Shops and banks and all that. All right, we're continuing on 30 West. This 
a couple miles up the road, we're going to cut down and we'll go find uh, Eisenhower Farm. Here we go, almost missed it. We'll cut down, this is 15 south. It's going to drop down about six, seven miles, and then we'll cut over to the Eisenhower National uh, Historic Site. It's his old homestead. Look at that little bit of sun, but rain's rolling in. Actually, I'm going to be driving into it. It's heading this way anyway. So I thought I'd get an early start this morning, try to beat it, before it rains me out again. Road should be right up here. Here's some of the old battlegrounds. They are just everywhere out here. Memorials everywhere. I think I see the farm off to the right. This should be it here. You know, also they got horseback riding here. They take out... No, here it is. Eisenhower. There it is. You can go out on little tours on uh, horses. On the trails. Alright, let's go check this out. No one's in that shack. Uh, online, it, it tells you it opens at 6 a.m. till dusk is when you can come out here. And all the buildings are closed. You can only walk the grounds. All right, I'm just going to follow the signs. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> And it's free. No charge come out here. What's that? Park headquarters. So that's where the rangers are. Looks like this is part of their farm here. Some old buildings. Silo. Pretty cool. Alright, keep on trucking. I'm following the signs that says visitor parking. Here we go. We made it. Alright, well, I'll get parked. Let's go for a walk. Made it. Welcome to Eisenhower National Historic Site. We got the guy at the leaf blower. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's go check this thing out. This walkway is cool. It's made out of like bark real soft to walk on huh they had a handicap entrance on the other side this isn't it here okay with the guy with the leaf blower and us follow the footsteps there's the layout of the property there's the farm we passed There's the house. Pretty modest house, too. <coughs> Not like them other ones with the big pillars and the mansions. Part of it's brick. That's a good size home, though. Look at all the windows. Wow, that's cool. 
when he was president, they landed the helicopter right here. Cool. Got gas pumps, how much? 24 cents a gallon. <laughs> Man. It's been a while, huh? 24 cents a gallon. Looks like a uh, barn. Big old corrals. This, up here, this is where the handicap parking is here. Pretty cool. And this one, more of the same. More of the layout. Out that direction's all the battlefields from the Civil War. Look at the old rocking chairs set out here. Watch the world go by. See a little sign in there. Guest house. Can't really go in. Imagine all the people that worked here for him. When you're president, don't you have all the secret service and all that? Dignitaries probably came out here. People from all over the world. Well, they say Gettysburg area, there's over three million visitors a year that come out to all these different sites including this one. All right, well, let's wander out back. There you go, there's a better look at it. Old Wyke's home. Windmill here. Think of the views. Think of uh, them sitting out here, just looking out over their farm here in Gettysburg. What a place to live, huh? All right. Well, there you go. Let's head on back to the van. See what else we can get into. <laughs> This is the softest walkway I've ever walked on. It's made out of, looks like ground up tree bark. Huh. There's our garden, got some roses going. Birdies chirping. <laughs> Shangri-La. Okay, we gotta do it one more time. We gotta drive back. I cut back up to town. We gotta drive through this circle one more time. <laughs> Go past that cannonball that's in the side of that building. That is still something else. This is downtown Gettysburg. The sun's almost coming out. I haven't seen that in days. Look at that shade. <laughs> Shadows on the street from the trees. Goodness. Okay, that ice cream parlor right there. That's where the cannonball is. Okay, here we go. Roundabout. This is 
the Lincoln Highway, US 30 is actually called the Lincoln Highway. So we're going to cruise the Lincoln Highway. Pretty cool. There's another stop I want to make along the heading towards Ohio. Hopefully the weather holds up. Uh, look at them young fellas out there running. <laughs> I can't run no more. Out for a morning jog in Gettysburg. Pretty good. Okay, this is going to cut us back up. I kind of remember this. This is actually we're going to go back through a little bit of the battleground area on the north side. Just past that old hotel. You know, there's all kinds of ghost tours that you can take. They claim this area is haunted. All the buildings are. But you can see several online about the ghost tours and the historics of that way. Back out in the farmland. A few miles be to the left would have been Eisenhower site where we're just at. There's a visitor center there on the left. This is the Lincoln Highway US 30. We're going to stay on this for a while. Now I also looked up on the way over to Ohio. There's a site if the weather holds. We're supposed to be driving into some rain. Is uh, the Flight 93 National Memorial. So I thought I'd stop there. Check that out. See what else we can get into. Yeah, it's getting more and more rural. A little flatter. I think we end up some mountains too. When we get over farther into western Pennsylvania. Should be a pretty place. Everything's nice here. <laughs> We are on US 30, cruising through the western Pennsylvania mountains. Look at it, kind of reminds you of West Virginia, North Carolina. I think it's part of the Appalachians and Blue Ridge Mountains, all that. We've been going up and down mountain passes. Pretty steep ones, too. Anyway, we're heading over to that uh, national site. Flight 93 National Site. Go and check that out. So far I've run in and out of a few raindrops. Not too bad. So hopefully it'll hold off till we get there and get it filmed. Pretty curvy road uh, for big rigs and pulling trailers. This section of US 30, it, you can do it easy, but you're, it's going to be a slow ride. Here we go down another one. The average mountain pass has been like 24, 2600 feet. Wow, and then all of a sudden, look at this freeway. I got to get fuel too. Let's make a stop here. The Gateway Plaza. This is right on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Interstate 70 and 76. All kinds of trucks and restaurants and motels here. But we're going to stay on US 30. 
Look at that. The clouds are still broken. Looks like we might beat the rain. Yay. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Well, I'm going to take a couple minute break from driving. Then we'll get back on the road. Yeah, out west you don't see many turp pay roads, toll roads, like you do out east here, where you gotta pay to travel on them. Well, this should be a few more miles up 30 here. Thought we'd check out that Flight 93 National Memorial. And we're going to head on into Ohio. Well, I just ran through bunch of rain see here it's not roads are still kind of wet but we should be getting close real close to the entrance to the National Memorial This is Western Pennsylvania. Big mountains and it's rolling farmland. Absolutely beautiful here. Big farms too. According to the phone, I made it. We're here. Looking for a sign. Yep. This is it. Let's pull on in, check it out. Look at the roads. It just got done raining here, but it held off. Thank goodness. Yay. Cool. Let's stop, get a picture of the sign. Flight 93 National Memorial. There's a sign back here. Let's check it real quick while I'm here. And the story of why this memorial's here. Goodness. Look at that. They even got a phone. You can uh, call a phone number. Right there. And I'll give you the all the details. All right, well, let's drive on in. That tower on the left, it's called Tower of Voices. We'll check that on the way out. Let's go into the memorial first. Sign said three and a half miles back. We'll check that and then we'll uh, stop at this tower on the way out. Tower of Voices. This is the visitor center here. 
Let's go to the memorial site first since it's not raining. I can get out and film that and then we'll check the visitor center because if it's raining I can go inside the building. <laughs> Yay. Oh, look at that. They got RV park in there. Cool. All right. Follow the signs. All kinds of walkways out there. Looks like uh, memorial setups. Big waterway. This is supposed to be the crash shot site out here. And uh wall of names, something like that. We'll find out. Memorial Plaza. They got restrooms here. Nice stonework. I'm sure it's got all kinds of good architecture. Most of these memorial sites do. They got lighting along the pathway. Look how green birdies are chirping. Welcome to the Memorial Plaza. Shows the layout. Looks like you can access this both from the visitor center and down here. Okay, well, let's go for a walk. Pictures. Pictures of from when the plane went down on a farm here. I guess this was all farm land here. It shows the flight path that it took. Kind of sad, really. You can feel it, sadness here. Huh. Oh boy, and here's the heroes of the flight. Wow. Put face to it. All right, well, let's keep moving. There's another little sign for it. So on the phone, you can dial it and get the story as you're walking through here. Okay, what's in here? Oh, wow, message board. Look at that. You can leave a message. Huh, that's a good idea in a sign-in book. All right, well, let's keep walking. Bunch of benches here. Wow, this is a huge walkway. That must be the site out there. It's all calm and peaceful now, isn't it? Here's a storyboard. See what it says. 
kind of faded. Oh wow, there's a boulder out there. They put a 17 ton boulder right out there. That marks a spot. No words for that. Okay, up here's the names of the heroes. heard that ranger is saying that the line of the wall here is the flight path where the plane came in and all the names on here were all picked by the family how they wanted it to be uh, displayed the families all right let's go check out that visitor center There are all kinds of trails, walking trails, paved out there, all over the field. So far the rain held off, thank you. Yeah, out there there's a bridge, waterways, and trails. They really got this fixed nice. They're working on it too. There's a lot of work in progress here. see up here too where they're planting all kinds of trees look at all that trees are young yet they're mowing in between them boy in a few years that'll be a big old forest won't it nice very well done very well thought out Visitor Center looks pretty big. Let's get parked. Visitor Center and Overlook. We got restrooms here. Handicap parking, RV parking. Pretty good size like a topographical layout of the whole National Memorial here. Different buildings. And here's a map of all the different layouts. I got everything numbered. We've already been down to the memorial site. Let's check this out. Now this pathway represents the flight path that the plane came in. 
right here, this pathway. You can see farms all around. Different farmlands, buildings. Okay, here's their visitor center. Let's do a walkthrough. Hello, welcome to Flight 93. Hi. Oh, they had an information desk with the Rangers, Park Rangers. They got displays. Shows the history here of what took place. Very well done. Well, let's go out to the walkway, check that view. Good saying, common field one day, field of honor the next. Right down there, that's where we were. That's a wall of names. They mowed a pathway right to that big boulder. Well, very well done, Memorial. All right, we say, let's go back and check out that tower. Tower of Voices. Just a little mist <laughs> hitting the windshield. It held off. All right, here it is here. Where I stopped there and got a picture. Tower of Voices. Let's see what the sign story. Oh wow, there's big wind chimes in there. Wow, those are big. Goodness. Huge wind chimes. There's not enough wind to set them off right now. It's actually pretty calm. Huh. Look at the size of those. Look at the pipe around them. Well, that's cool. 
Very fitting. Fits perfectly here. Tower of Voices. Nice. Well, back to US 30 Lincoln Highway. We got about another 100 miles and we're going to be in Ohio. Yay! Well, Pennsylvania has a lot to offer. What a great RV place. All kinds of good stuff. Too bad it rained so much on me. Kind of rained me out for a few days. Thank you for watching the Once in a Lifetime series about Pennsylvania. This was definitely one for the memory books. The history, the deep history of between Gettysburg Flight 93 Memorial, you could really feel a presence there. Be sure to subscribe to my newsletter at rvrtv.tv. Stay tuned for future episodes of the Once in a Lifetime series and also new travel starts for the 2023 season. Take care all.